Hence loathed melancholy of Cerberus and blackest midnight born, in Stygian cave forlorn, mongst horrid shapes and shrieks and sights unholy find out some uncouth cell where brooding darkness spreads his jealous wings and the night raven sings there under ebon shades and low-browed rocks as ragged as the locks in dark Cimmerian desert ever dwell, but come thou, goddess, fair and free, in heaven eclept, Uphrosyne, and by men-heart easing mirth, whom lovely Venus at a birth, with two sister graces born, to ivory crowned Bacchus bore, or whether ere some sager sing, the frolic wind that breathes the spring. Zephyr with Aurora playing, as he met her once a maying, there on beds of violet blue and fresh blown roses washed in dew, filled her with thee a daughter fair, so buxom, blithe, and debonair. Haste thee, nymph, and bring with thee jest and youthful jollity. Quips and cranks and wanton wiles. <clears throat> Nods and becks and wreathed smiles, such as hang on Hebe's cheek, and love to live in dimple sleek. Sport that wrinkled care derides, and laughter holding both his sides. Come and trip it as you go on the light fantastic toe. And in thy right hand lead with thee the mountain nymph, sweet liberty. And if I give thee honor due, mirth, admit me of thy crew, to live with her and live with thee in unreproved pleasures free. To hear the lark begin his flight and singing startle the dull night from his watchtower in the skies till the dappled dawn doth rise. Then to come in spite of sorrow, and at my window bid good morrow, through the sweet briar or the vine or the twisted eglantine, while the cock with lively din scatters the rear of darkness thin, and to the stack or the barn door, stoutly struts his dames before, oft glistening how the hounds and horn cheerly rouse the slumbering morn from the side of some hoar hill, through the high wood echoing shrill, sometime walking not unseen, by hedgerow elms on hillocks green. Right against the eastern gate, where the great sun begins his state. Robed in flames and amber light, the clouds in thousand liveries dight. With the ploughman near at hand, whistles o'er the furrowed land, and the milkmaid singeth blithe, and the mower wets his scythe. And every shepherd tells his tale, under the hawthorn in the dale, straight mine eye hath caught new pleasures, whilst the landscape round it measures, russet lawns and fallows grey, where the nibbling flocks do stray, mountains on whose barren breast the labouring clouds do often rest, meadows trim with daisies pied, Shallow brooks and rivers wide, towers and battlements it sees, bosomed high in tufted trees, where perhaps some beauty lies, the sinecure of neighbouring 